currently at the veterinary college suhama a unit of sher e kashmir university of agricultural sciences and technology and with me are two prominent names in the field Dr Riaz Ahmed Shah scientist principal investigator and dean faculty of veterinary sciences and Dr Suhail Marge the researcher behind India's first successful gene editing in sheep Hello and welcome to the print I'm Sagrika Kissu with my colleague Anisha Nehra and today we will be speaking to these two geniuses to understand that how this gene edited sheep came about Kashmir has a little lamb and she is a bit of a celebrity too visitors throng to get a glimpse take pictures all day scientists track every move of hers taking notes on how she is growing she is after all india's first gene edited sheep she has enhanced muscle mass as a result of successfully altered dna so I will start with Dr. Riaz, uh, who is the dean of the faculty. Dr. Riaz, how did it come about? Suhail was your student, as we were talking off record. Suhail was your student. He came with a certain idea, and this is how it went on. So tell me about these four years, how it started. When did it come to you? What was his initial idea? Uh, Dr. Suhail basically joined here as a researcher under me doing his phd so during his phd he planned to do work on uh, gene editing and ultimately we started gene editing in case of sheep and that too for a gene called myostatin so myostatin is the regulator gene of muscle mass so with that gene we took a project from icar icar funded project and that project it was planned to do gene editing in different livestock species so we were working on sheep gene editing uh, national dairy research institute that's in karnal they were working on buffalo and there is a one research institute on goats and they were working on uh, goats uh, gene editing in goats and you so, yours was the first one to uh, get the break, breakthrough yeah i mean all of us worked on this project and uh, we continued with this ultimately that project was over within a period of 3 years so but we continued work on this project beyond that 3 year period that's uh, even uh, after 22 onwards so ultimately in 2024 we did some experimentation with success and we got some births but uh, unfortunately they turned out to be non edited so ultimately when we go on continue repeated experimentation so this the current one which we got uh, edited sheep first gene edited sheep in the country so this was successful after a repeated number of attempts and ultimately this was born somewhere in december last year in a region dominated by headlines of conflict squast is quietly making a mark with scientific innovations and it has come with a lot of perseverance it took suhail marge his team of 7 and their supervisor senior scientist riaz ahmed shah Six years to reach this milestone, Marge was midway through a meal of mutton and rice when his laptop chimed with news of another sheep. India's first gene-edited farm animal had been born on the fifth trial. It was a Friday, and Marge's prayers had been answered. Actually, we had discussed it earlier. Uh, I was in a training program here in two thousand fifteen. I was actually employed at uh, Sheep Husbandry Department, Kashmir, as a veterinary officer. Department sent me for the training program in 2015. That training program changed my mind to change the subject and come under Dr. Riaz for doing PhD, because Dr. Riaz sir had a big name in cloning. He had cloned world, India's first buffalo, then world's first pashmina goat. So I wanted to work on this type of. CRISPR those days was a buzzword. So at uh, Dr. Riaz's lab. Uh, It, there was a setup already in place for reproductive biotechnology, such as IVF, reproductive cloning, and those laparoscopic surgeries, embryo transfers. So I thought, why not add CRISPR to this, and uh, we can give it a new direction. Sir was happy to acknowledge it, and uh, he I, actually I proposed a different uh, gene editing, uh, editing a different gene. Sir said, no, we should go with myostatin. 
So, as sir has already pointed out that myostatin is a negative regulator of muscle growth. When we knock out the gene, the muscle mass will increase and it will uh, cause increase in the body weight, the growth rate of the animal will be improved. So, it uh, can improve the socio-economic status of farmers. Presently, this was purely a research based study. It is, uh, the regulations are still to be framed. Uh, so, in coming years, uh, we are planning to make more such animals. Kashmiri scientist Riaz Ahmed Shah was no stranger to failures and breakthroughs. In 2009, he cloned India's first buffalo calf, Garima, during his PhD at National Dairy Research Institute, NDRI in Karnal. In 2012, he cloned the world's first pashmina goat, Nuri. Now, his student, PhD researcher Marge is following the same path, adding another feather to the cap and taking Kashmir's cloning legacy one step further. Marge's idea was to target a gene in a ship variety to boost muscle weight. The team pitched it to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research and got funding from the National Agricultural Science Fund setting the project in motion. Over the next half a decade, the team carried out nearly 400 trials. It began with embryo formation, then came cloning. Strategies kept changing and evolving. They shifted from using dead animals to living ones and pushed their research forward through repeated failures. So, sir, uh, please tell our viewers uh, uh, this is the first time it has happened in India, so it's an it's quite an achievement. But also that what these edited genes mean for for our viewers who might not be well versed with the scientific terminology, yeah. what does it mean? Genes basically have a function to do. So there are many number of genes that act in the uh, in an organism, whatever whether, whether it is an animal or a human body. So those genes function for different functions and. This myostatin is one of the genes that function for regulating the muscle mass. So we have worked on this gene just to edit it so that the muscle mass will increase in future. So that was our target. So uh, the muscle <coughs> mass in the, in, the, in the edited sheep will increase yeah, was the intention at yeah, the target? That was the intention and we have now observed the uh, findings of how it increases. So that is in the future research will be directed over the yeah. Whenever we talk about success, we all, always overlook the failure that has, the failures that one has gone through to reach that success. With Dr. Riaz and Dr. Suhail, the same happened. Four years into the gene edited sheep in the making, they had to face numerous, several failures. And those failures, those nights when they didn't sleep, when they were consumed with thoughts of what should be done next, whether it will be a failure, how should we go about it. So we will be speaking to, uh, to the two of them to understand, to tell you what it takes to become a scientist. Creating a gene edited lamp meant many sleepless nights in the lab for Marge. He had to leave his wife and two children at home, unable to give them the time. When he wasn't in the lab, he was reading international research papers to refine his work. Otherwise, one would find him at SQUAS, Advanced Center for Reproductive Biotechnology Lab. This lab was developed during the birth of the Pashmina goat, Nuri. And since then, the lab has dedicated sections for embryo handling, manipulation, incubation and molecular work. Shah said that the lab is the first one in Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh and has now become a reference point for many to follow. But the facility is here in this area in reproductive technologies, we call it, in animal reproductive technologies. It's at par with anywhere in the world. So we have that facilities here and this facility is rare if we see around the world. There are few scores of laboratories who have this type of facility and who are working in this area. And in India you have few couple of laboratories which are working in this area. So that way we have an edge and we can target some other uh, big achievements in this area. So that's important. So I had uh, with me two pioneers who have uh, from Kashmir who have produced the first gene edited sheep 
This was Sagrika Kissu for the print with her video journalist Anisha Nehra.